let us look at the distribution and comparison of data uh, or variable distribution. So the first we'll start with binomial distribution. Uh, what is distribution? In statistics, we we'll have different statistical distribution. Statistical distribution try to tell the randomness of a variable. How does this variable stochastically move over the year? How does it distribute over the year? So we we'll have different types of distribution. Uh, binomial distribution is just a measure of two outcomes. When you talk of binomial distribution, you are talking of two outcomes. Two outcomes. It could be positive, it could be negative. It could be male or female. It could be uh, uh, success or failure. So whenever any statistical distribution that only have two outcomes is classified as a binomial distribution. And mainly we see binomial distribution in trials. You know, tr toss of coin, uh, uh, throw of dice, you know, neither you have head, you have tail. Uh, if you attempt any event, neither you get success or you get failure. So any statistical distribution that has two outcomes is called binomial or Bernoulli distribution. Uh, so we we'll look at Poisson's distribution. The Poisson distribution measures the likelihood of a number of an event occurring within a given time interval. What are the likelihood? Where the key parameter there, you know, require average number of events in a given interval. So, so uh, Poisson, you know, look at what is the probability that this event will occur within this specific period. So, but the binomial is different. Binomial is only saying that this event occurs, but the outcome must be only two. Neither it will be success or it will be zero. So that the probability of event having success or zero is one and two. But this one is saying that the probability that this event not only occurring, but will occur within this specified period. So we have negative binomial distribution. Uh, so in probability theory and statistics, the negative binomial distribution is a discrete probability distribution that models the number of success in a sequence of independent and identical distributed Bernoulli trial before speci uh, specifying non-random numbers. That is failure. Uh, we always see that uh, in a uh, in, in, in a, 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 a binomial distribution, we always have a number of success and number of failure. And number of success is always used as P, while number of failure is Q. So if we have parameter P and Q, it means that uh, number or if number of success is P, it means that number of failure is one minus P. So we have a kind of negative kind of uh, so returning again to the coin tossing, assume that you had the number of success fees uh, at a given number and estimate the number of trial you will have before you reach the specific number of success. The result, uh, the resulting distribution is called negative, like we said. Uh, for you to have negative distribution, you have one minus the positive uh, distributions. So let us go on. Uh, so, let us talk of a geometric distribution. What is geometric distribution? So geometric distribution here represents number of failure before you get one success. Remember the difference between these three distributions we discussed? Binomial, look at two outcomes, the chances of having two outcomes in a trial. Why poison is looking at the chances of having this outcome within this time frame. But here, we are talking of the chances. Uh, here, we are talking of the chances of this outcome within or uh, how many times will you perform this event before you have your success? How many number of times will you attempt certain things? Or how many number of times will you fail before you succeed? So that is geometric uh, 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 
uh, distribution for you. So the, we have different types of geometric distribution. The hypergeometric distribution. This one measures the probability of specific number of success in so many trials without replacement from the infinite population. So we have discrete uniform distribution, and as the name implies, uh, it must have a discrete number. So this is simply types of discrete distribution and our plan when all outcomes have an equal chance, equal probability of occurring. We know that this is applied to a random distribution. A random distribution is the distribution that every trials have equal chance of occurring. So so the discrete so the discrete yeah the discrete uniform distribution is best reserved for uh, some uh, circumstances. So uh, we we'll always have sometimes you apply to continuous data uh, where specific or all, all possible outcomes you know or cause you know you know you know have equal chances of occurrence. So uh, let us go more. Uh, so let us look at normal distribution. Normal distribution. Uh, like we've said before, that normal any distribution that you know has equal uh, variance and uh, zero mean is all normally distributed. So the normal distribution has uh, several features that makes it uh, you know popular. First, it can be fully characterized by just two parameters we said: the mean and the standard deviation. And it's from the variance we obtain the standard deviation. So the estimate is just, it makes estimate simple. Second, the probability of any value of calling can be obtained simply by knowing how many standard deviation separate the value from the mean. So that, again, is one of the simplest distribution. So the probability that value will fall to standard deviation uh, will, will fall and under two standard deviation from the mean, or it's always roughly 90 and 95 percent. Uh, so, so the normal distribution is best suited for data that, at the most, meet the following condition. We've said it before. Some of these conditions: uh, strong tendency for the data to take on central value, that is the mean value, and so on and so forth. Let's go on. Let's go. So, so let us check the comparing data distribution. Let us compare some of these uh, different distribu uh, distribution. So common graphic display of some of these data in line graph, plot graph, box, and so many can be effective too for comparing data from one another. So how to compare distributions? When compared two or more data sets, focus on four features. So what are the four features? We focus on the central tendency, the dispersion. So the, the, the central tendency, the, the spread, that is the dispersion. We, we check the shape, we check the unusual feature. Uh, in terms of central tendency, graphically, the center of distribution is the point where about half of the observations are either, either in this side or the other side. The other one is the spread. Spread is how far away all these data are to themselves. So, so these are some of the ways we compare data. So another one is the shape. Shape here, we are looking at is this data asymmetric in nature? Is it skewed towards the same one direction? Or what is the number of ketosis? Is it peaked at a point? So these are so many shapes helps us to know the distribution the data will follow. Well, so unusual feature again helps us to know that this data could be you know distributed this way. So unusual feature refer to gaps. That's area of distribution where there are no observation and the outliers. Outliers is abnormal changes over some period of time in a data. The data may be you know sloping downward but automatically in one period rush up abnormally and fall down it means there is an unshaped or uh, irregular behavior of such data. So these are so many things that helps us to know, you know, you know, structure of the data. So so far so good. We are able to discuss uh, some distributions. Uh, we've touched the binomial distribution, the Poisson distribution, 
the negative polynomial distribution, the geometric distribution, half power distribution, these are all uh, uh, some uh, distributions that are not discrete, they are continuous distributions. So we we'll have discrete distribution, we we'll have continuous distribution. Uh, we'll be able to compare different distributions and some of the features that helps us to know, you know, the, uh, know the types of distributions we are dealing with, such as the mean, the, the, the dispersion that is discrete, the shapes, and the unusual features in such case.